Hey, Internet and Melee. I'm Casey. This is 25 in 52. It is 11.30 at night and I can't focus on my work. So let's make a video. So, I think I mentioned last week that it's getting to be like full swing busy time again and oh boy is it. Um, I got up, well, some of it is because like I'm having a social life. And that's exciting. Um, so I got home real late last night and I got up today and I went up to school and I finished my reading for today and I went to class and then I went to choir practice and then I took myself to dinner and then I did some things that weren't exactly what I needed to be doing. Um, and one of them was try to learn French, um, which is a thing I've been working on. One of them was think about events, but we'll get there. Um, that just happens. So the yeah now I'm trying to do my work but instead I can't and so I'm making a video with a cat on me this is great this is 11:30 at night at my house welcome to it oh right so there are only nine more including this one of these left and that's kind of ridiculous right um, as of tomorrow which will be in like half an hour there will be two months until I'm 26 and we start doing a new thing. I wanted to babble a little bit about some things that I've been thinking about for various reasons today. Um, first was something that came up when I was in class today. We were talking about Newgrange, we were talking about that, and we were watching this news clip of a guy talking about uh, what they think they know about the civilization that created this really impressive structure. Um, and he said that because they had built this and they had, you know, art, then we knew that they were civilized. And I actually, like, I left notes for myself at the top of my of my notes for the class about that statement because like do we know that people are civilized if they build buildings? Do we know that they're civilized if they build buildings that don't go away? Do we know I just like what is that like how do we know what civilized is is a question that I have and also um Particularly because it's, uh, you know, related to paganism and what was basically the indigenous uh, religion of Ireland before Christianity and, like, pre-Christian indigenous religions. Um, the... to talk about, right, this is civilized, and we don't talk about anybody else's indigenous religions as being civilized. Uh, Something about that is weird, and suggests that, well, it does, I mean, no, nothing about it is weird, because it's white supremacist and obnoxious, um, you know, old civilizations in Europe were civilized, and old civilizations everywhere else were not, that's what we believe about the world, but it's not true, and I wonder what would be different if we, like, forced a perspective shift on that, and, and talked in that language about the religious histories of all the other cultures. So that's one, one thing. I don't know why I was going to turn that camera off. So that's a thing that I thought about. And then I was thinking about Eve Ensler and how she must be stopped. Because it's, you know, going to be February 14th on Friday, and there's the Vagina Monologues V-Day, One Billion Rising thing, which um, my opposition to is actually explained better by some articles that I will put in the stuff. Um, thinking about Eve Ensler and that. And then I was thinking about for one of my other classes I have to uh, pick a couple of books to read and there are different categories that they're in and I'm struggling about category picking. I want to talk to you, whoever you are, by the way, Melly or otherwise, I want to talk to you about that at some point because I have no idea. Um, but so one of the categories in which books are is uh, gender stuff and one of the books is by Mary Daly, 
Um, and Eve Ensler and Mary Daly are both like pretty well known, pretty influential feminists with whom I have very significant problems. Um, but I have a really different relationship with each of them as I have seen the vagina monologues and like engaged with Eve Ensler's work and I have once attempted to read something of Mary Daly's and understood zero of it. And so, on the one hand, I think maybe I should read this book that Mary Daly wrote because I have never read anything of hers and maybe I should engage with it before I'm just like, yeah, I know I don't agree with that, so forget about her. But does, does like, I mean, I suppose she's dead, so it doesn't matter so much if I'm giving her money, right? Um, because she's dead. Um, but like, does it legitimize her to do that? Like, to take her ideas seriously when I know that some of her ideas are like, diametrically opposed to things that I believe. Uh, Mary Daly, for the record, is deeply transphobic. Um, what well, was now she's a, now she's dead. But Mary Daly was deeply, deeply transphobic, and that's not something I'm okay with. Um, so I guess like I'm really like I'm okay being like all right, Eve Ensler stuff out. But because Mary Daly's work is academic and not, I don't know. I don't know. I don't really even understand what the question I'm having there is. But I. There's some kind of question in my brain about at what point it's reasonable to just kind of write someone's work off as something that isn't worth engaging with, um, or that doesn't do as much good as it does harm. And I don't think I know where the line is. Yeah, so there's that. Anyway, so this is what happens in my brain a lot. Um, yeah. So that might have helped. I might be able to read a book now. Hopefully. I would like to read a book. Um, you are super awesome, whoever you are that is watching this, but particularly if you are Melly, because you are super awesome. And the grad schools will be super lucky to have you, and you should not be intimidated by the people with the impressive CVs, because you're awesome. And that's what I've learned so far in grad school, is that person's CV is impressive, but you're awesome. Lessons. Love you. Bye. I don't even know where that started. God damn it.